The repair shop is carrying out an analysis of its most recent repairs. They intend to add an additional check to all repairs costing over £300. So the field that we will be using will be price of fix and therefore our criteria will be currency and we will be looking for prices over £300. The query to find all the repairs costing over £300 will use arithmetic operators. So I click into create, that will change my ribbon into the create ribbon and I'm going to use the query wizard. So I click once on the query wizard. That brings me into an opportunity to use whatever tables are inside the database. But for our repair shop, we only have one table and that's central office. So I click to add and then hit the X button to close down the table dialog box. The next step that I need to go through is, well, which fields do I want to be displayed when I run this query? So clearly I want to know the name of the premises, what you call the school or the further education college. So I click once into that field name, click and hold down the mouse and drag that into the query area, which is at the bottom. Then I'm going to scroll down. I might want to take in the date that it was logged. So I click into that field and then just simply bring it back down again. And you will notice how the mouse changes when you approach the query box. It is a circle with a line through it telling you that's prohibited. But once I come over the right area, you'll see it will release that and allow me to bring the information down. Then obviously, finally, I'm going to bring down the price of the fix because that's going to tell me which one is greater than or less than your 300. I've now three fields that I'm interested in, so I'm now ready to go choose the field that's right and put in the matching criteria. The field is already discussed before is the price of the fix. Then I'm going to fill in my criteria. So that is going to be greater than because we want it over 300. And then if I type in 300, that is equivalent to our 300 pounds. Now you will notice that I have typed in 300. I have left out the pound sign and the two decimal places. I don't need to include those because I already formatted the field price of fix to currency along with two decimal places. If you do find you put on a pound sign, Microsoft Access will assume that you want to work with text. It's very similar to when you use your spreadsheet. So now that I've got my query information in, I've got my field chosen, I know the fields that I want to display. I come up to the ribbon again to where I see run and I click with run. And that will bring me up all the prices then that are over 300 pounds. So the Royal School at 400, Australia College at 345, and Freeman School at 370. Creating the query for over £300 may miss the £300 mark. If I open back up the central office table by double clicking, and then I come across to where we can actually see the price of the fix, you will find that one of those was set for £300 and that has been missed from our initial query. In order to bring that in, I need to refine the criteria itself. So I'm going to come back to my view menu and I'm going to pop down into the design view. The reason that it didn't find the £300 is because I didn't ask it to do that. I asked for over £300. So if I click between there and hit the equals, that will then find anything that is over 300 pounds, but also anything that is equal to the 300 pounds. If I then run, you will see it has successfully brought in George Street because it was set for 300 pounds. So always pay attention to what way that you need to do your query. Is it greater than a certain number 
or in this case, should it be greater than or equal to a certain number? What I want to do now is I want to save that query. So I'm going to right click where it says query one and go to save, bringing up my dialog box. I'm going to name this repairs 300 pounds or over. Again, always remember to name your query so that you can find out what the contents is. If I look at this, I know it's going to be over 300 pounds, but it's also going to find me the repairs that are set for 300. I will click OK and you will see the name then changes to reflect what I put into the save dialog box. I have now finished with this query, so I'll hit the X button and that will close my query down.